So what is hormone replacement therapy? Just as its name, it's hormones that are being replaced. So specifically what we're talking about sex hormones, we're talking about estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. There are other forms of hormone replacement therapy like thyroid, insulin, and cortisol. So with sex hormones, um, which is usually used for treatment, um, especially when talking about perimenopause and menopause, um, we're talking about estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. So as women's ovaries begin their decline as far as hormone production as they get closer to menopause, those are the hormones that um, go away. And so hence the symptoms that come on, which makes menopause and perimenopause very difficult, especially when it comes to quality of life and longevity, um, we use estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone to bring um, back hormones, replace what was once there. Now there's different philosophies of how that approach is done. And so we'll talk about that in future videos, but at the basics, hormone replacement therapy is just hormones that we're replacing in menopause. And so there's different types of hormones. There's synthetic forms of hormones and there's bioidentical um, forms of hormones. So specifically with estrogen, estrogen um, in its synthetic form is called conjugated equine estrogens, which are originally derived from horse urine. And then we have bioidentical um, hormones, which are derived from a plant-based, usually some type of wild yam. And so both of these hormones are processed and to be able to be given to humans, uh, but the bioidentical is the closest in structure and form of the actual biochemical uh, molecule of hormones for humans. So we have estrogen and bioidentical estrogen and bioidentical progesterone, and then we have synthetic estrogen and synthetic progesterone. There is a lot of controversy around this topic um, because of original studies done in the early 90s that were poorly done and really created this whole fear around hormone replacement therapy. And now we know today that you know both forms of hormones can be very effective and helpful for women. Um, some have more side effects than others, which we'll get into in later videos, um, but these are both available for women to um, use and for doctors to prescribe for patients.